Hi everyone, welcome to Phoenix Focus Studio. My name is Orshi, aka Rocky. I'm the founder and head teacher of Phoenix Focus Studio. I'm also a certified mindset and vocal coach, which means as a mindset and vocal coach, I do not work only the physiology of your voice, but the effect of singing on your mind, soul, and on your body. So my uh, approach is quite holistic, which means I look at the whole picture when you come to me. So if you're interested in singing lessons, you can find the link below the video, phoenixvocalstudio.com. Or if you are someone who has no chance to take one to one lessons for any reasons, you can also join our membership site, which is called Phoenix. Phoenix is basically an online voice development platform for singers and singers to be. But if you want to know more information about the lessons or the membership site, you can find both links below the video. Today I'm going to talk about Dimash. I know it's been a long time, I'm very very sorry about that, but it's simply because of my very busy uh, teaching schedule. So, uh, you guys gave me lots of lots of um, ideas what I should, uh, what I can talk about. So I chose today Ave Maria. I love this song, so I haven't listened it. Yes, so this is the first time. So let's see what he can do. It's been a long time I haven't done either, so I'm very, very excited. Let's do it.
Димаш Кудайберген. Just a sec. Uh, okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to take care of myself it here. Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to say. My mind is completely empty, absolutely empty. And I would say that this is, um, this is when, this is how music or singing or yes, music and singing or a singer could, uh, oh, you see, all right, one more time. So this is when I, when a singer knows that they, they did a good job, that they leave the audience speechless. Because when you let music... So, so, uh, <sighs> that's what happens when you let, let music touch you, touches you. You literally become speechless and... <laughs> okay. Uh, I hope I can say something about his technique, but obviously I, I've said a lot about his technique in, in the previous videos. These ones... Uh, I don't even know why I put makeup on. <laughs> it will come off anyway. Uh, Yes, so anyway, um, <laughs> that, that's what I could say that, th yeah, um, that when a singer and music leaves you speechless, you know that you let it come, let it go in, you let it in, you let it in and it went straight to your heart, to your guts and Whatever it was that needed to be needed to heal, I think it's I think it's um it's happening right now. Obviously without the cameras I would not just cry cry cry. So I, I think I'm gonna just listen to this later on. And and whatever I need to let go I will. Uh, first of all, okay now I'm just getting um I'm, I'm, maybe I, I'm able to speak now. Yes. So um, when he started on that that beautiful female operatic voice, I didn't expect that. I expected the the, the male one, what he usually does. But that was, I would say, I, I'm not even surprised he did this. And it was so much more <sighs> effective, and it went deeper. The way he he uses his voice up there, he's, he uses the female uh, energy, because he uses the female, the male energy, like this. This is just so out of this world. And actually it reminded me, this sound, it really reminded me these old Western movies. And I love the, the, those. The music of these old Western music are so deep as well, so touching, and that's how I felt when when uh, when he was singing. And I really liked. Obviously, it was a little bit uh, re recomposed, and uh, like the original, I think it that was that was different, but it was it was beautiful. It was it was out of this world. He is out of this world. He is just growing even more. He is giving more. He is opening. He is releasing. He. Oh. He, vo he used head voice and whistle voice 
went into the visa register if if we can talk about the, the technical issue uh, sorry technical issue technical approach he was so serious when he started it he has such he's he uh, i love the humility and the respect how he approaches the performance I am new wave, oh absolutely new wave, that's what it says, and new wave, new age. This is something new that that <laughs> the whole world needs. And you see that's why, that's why I work, I have a holistic approach for singing because my experience is in the last uh, almost 18 years, because I've been teaching for almost 18 years. That my experience is that that the effect of singing and music on your life this is just sometimes it's it's it can comparable cannot comparable to any anything else people need you cannot work only the physiology of your voice if you want to become a singer because i always tell that technique and the heart walks hand hand in hand so there is a obviously you the technique needs to be worked on and you need to get ready that you that you need to use your soul your heart you need to open up which is there is a chance risky risky as i say there is a chance that you're gonna it's gonna be a bit painful but when it has pain where, there, where you feel the pain this is the air this is the point this is the place where you need to heal and Singing has an incredible healing effect to us. Even if you just listen to music. You see, I listened to it and I was like, <laughs> I already felt that it just, that probably there, it touched something that it needs to be healed. Incredible. Thank you very much for the, for the, for the suggestion, as always. I really hope that, that the video you enjoy the video and again if you are interested in more feel free to subscribe suggest more if you have questions please post below the video uh, if you're interested in uh, singing lessons go to phoenixvocalstudio.com you find the link below the video or if you want to join the membership site or want to know more about the membership site please go to the link below as well um, both below the video and thank you very much for watching god bless you all and see you in the next video